Okay, the Skywatch is just on the other side of the steps. And it's surrounded by Fallen. Well, I'm ready if you are. Hey guys, Emperor here. I am back with some more, um, Destiny, excuse me. <laughs> Playing as the Titan class. I've already done Warlock and Hunter, so this will be my third series with, uh, Destiny Alpha here, checking out the final, the final class. I think so far, Warlock's my favorite. Um, so I guess we'll see after we're done with the Titan here, how I feel about that. Um, if you haven't watched any of my other videos yet, my first video with the Warlock uh, shows a little bit of the character creation. Um, Excuse me. Uh, I also show the uh, the tower, which is kind of the game hub. I think in my second video with the warlock, but uh, I actually show it. I think maybe better in my first video with the hunter. I think it was my first video. Maybe it was my. I'm pretty sure it was my first. Anyways, um, so to not be redundant, I'm not going to go over some of the basics in this. I'm just amazing before the collapse. Thousands of humans boarding the colony ships, off to build cities beyond. And now the fallen, just picking its bones. I'm mostly just going to showcase gameplay as the Titan class. Keep it simple. Up the hill, the building with the radar. That's the Skywatch. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, even though it's just a small taste, it only goes to level 8 only has, you know, one, I guess you'd call it instance or dungeon, and a little bit of uh, generic questing. <laughs> it, I'm sorry, but that that's what it is. You know, it's basically fetch quests, you know, go collect X amount of these, kill uh, so many of these bad guys, which, you know, this kind of game... Uh, I guess I've come to expect that sort of thing. But, you know, it's, it's hard to judge off of an alpha, you know, what you're going to get from a full game. So don't let that deter you. This was one of Skywatch's old array stations, a link to the lunar colonies. Um, you know, it does start out with a story mission, which is what we're doing right here. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of other story missions and lots of more strike missions, which are the instance dungeon type things. So, I would expect that there's going to be a lot more to this game than just uh, mindless grinding. Just, uh, you know, they they kept it small and simple for this alpha, and that's okay. You know, it was just to get a taste. Fallen sealed this gate. I can get it open. Fallen really didn't want anybody getting in or out. What is this? Lots of motion ahead. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's the flood. Oh, sorry, wrong game. It's the hive. It's the hive. Uh, 
Uh, for any fans of Halo, this game feels immediately familiar. You can tell that it's the guys that crafted Halo uh, for sure right away. But you know, that's uh, I don't say that as if it's a bad thing. It's not because Halo is an excellent uh, crafted. by where I needed to go. There's a wizard here. You see something floating in the air, you have to kill it. Fuck those wizards. Seriously, they're awful. <laughs> So one thing that's a little different about this game, there are different weapon types. There's a primary, a special, and a heavy. This is an auto rifle, basically a standard assault rifle. This is a primary weapon. This is a shotgun. Uh, this is a special weapon. And then later you can get things like rocket launchers, which would be a heavy. And you can only have one of each, so... Um, you know, you have to think about that because, say, uh... The wizard's here! Shit. Uh, say you're wanting to snipe. Um, sniper's also a special weapon, so... Uh, you cannot have a sniper and a shotgun equipped at the same time. Because they both sit in the same inventory slot. You can open your inventory and switch to you switch to one. So like, you know, if you decide, oh, I don't want to rock a sniper right now, I can go in there and switch to a shotgun. But you cannot do it without entering a menu. That is the wizard right there. I'm not going to engage him quite yet. He has a lot of ads, uh, additional monsters that come to help him and you kind of want to wipe them out first waiting for more of them to come out there they are because he is shielded and his shield will regenerate trying to fight him and the abs at the same time just doesn't really work very well damn it that was a bad throw pretty sure i didn't hit shit with that Come on, where's your buddies? They need to get out here so I can finish you off. There they are. I knew there was more. That's right, come get it. Oh shit, how'd he get behind me? I can tell you so far some some observations. Uh, melee attacks are very effective in this game. Uh, they were effective on my hunter. They were especially effective on my warlock. I would assume that they're probably effective on this titan as well. Oh shit, he's gonna kill me. I better back off. All right. See if we can finish off his ads and kill this motherfucker. One thing that's a little annoying about this game is, uh, there's another one. Sometimes enemies like to hide, and I mean annoyingly so. The shield get back up. Oh, I thought I reloaded you. Shit. Oh, 
That's right, still got him. The hive haven't been on Earth in centuries. That wizard came from the moon. I thought we had them contained there. The darkness could be a lot closer than we think. Well then, that was the first bit of story. I will do a really quick look through the tower. All right, guys, we are in the tower. Here's my character. I wanted to make her look kind of crazy slash vicious almost. <laughs> Since this is a Titan class, which is supposed to be kind of the in-your-face melee tanky class. Hello, Titan. So there is a bank where you can store items. Um, I haven't tested it yet, but uh, they might go across your accounts because uh, your money does. Your money is shared between all your characters, which is kind of nice. Anyways, oh, I need to go down. There's some reputation vendors on my left and right for PvP, which is called the Crucible. Uh, these are the three different class, uh, I guess you could say masters, that carry gear specific to you. This guy at the end would be the Titan. That's the Hunter class master, and that's the Warlock. It's getting I guess they call them band guards. Whatever. So I got a reward for completing my first mission. And I get to select another one, which in this case will be the helmet, because it has strength on it. Uh, Ant would be for a Warlock, Discipline would be for a Hunter, so here we go, Strength, and what else we got? Will it will. Oh shit, I didn't need to buy that, I just got a helmet, I'm such a dumbass. We'll get back better. better Boots, oh. Whatever, those are even better than the ones I just bought. I've seen this armor with oh, way to go, Emperor. Fucking up. <laughs> I swear, I think recording myself makes me stupid. I don't take my time and think about stuff. I just hit buttons. That's right, I got a head and chest piece, so I guess I can buy some better gauntlets. Um, what else do I have? 
There's a shotgun. Hmm, fusion rifle with fire element. I think I may try that. Uh, scout rifle, auto rifle. I prefer an auto rifle. Uh, I'll go over the skills later when I get them more filled out. Right now I'm just going to put my point in uh, my special here. Okay. So let's see, what was that? Hand gear? Remember you stand for the Titans while you wear this. So I just want to see, uh, oh, okay. Every class has like a specific thing that's almost like a unique to them type, uh, signifying item. Like for a hunter, it's a scarf or a hood. For a warlock, it's an armband. I guess for uh, titans, it's kind of a waist belt sash thing. Anyways, okay. As you Call the council. We need all the orders studying this. So I'm just going to rip the rest of this gear. Which gives you money. Mm. Could you get All right, so we're slightly better uh, equipped. Next, we're going to the gunsmith. See if he has any new toys available for me. Got classics here, Titan. Choose a weapon. I like auto rifles, so I think I'm going to stick with that. I have tried some of the other weapons. See what else we got. Um, hmm. I do like sniping. That's an upgrade from the fusion rifle I currently have on, so I think I'll grab that. What is this? Level 5 scout rifle? No, not interested. Fusion. Shouldn't be too long till I'm level 5, so I think I might carry that with me. In case I decide to change. And I think I just gotta... See you around. Get rid of that 36. Yeah, definitely, definitely better than that fire one I had on. I'll just get rid of that for now since I'll be able to use that one next level. Okay, I can. Uh, I'm gonna look one more time. Um, where was it? Cool. I can't use it yet, but I'm, I'm going to buy it because I can spare the money. And uh, upgrades do make a difference. I learned early in the game that uh, your level and your gear make a substantial difference. Uh, when I was level 4, I ran into some enemies that were level 8. And they just uh, bent me over the table, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Went back when I was level 7. And uh, I killed them fairly easily, so, you know, just three levels difference, and it was night and day. You crashed this thing, and I'll come find you, Guardian. Okay, well, that should be 
There should be everything here in the tower. Oh yeah, there's uh, there's bots around the tower where you can open a map and see where you are and see where things are. So if you're lost, trying to figure out where you need to go, uh, that's helpful. Anyways, that's everything we need to do in the tower, so um, I will cut this video here. And the next one will be some open world gameplay as the Titan. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe, like, comment, and share. I love hearing from you guys. And I'll see you next time.